Jerusalem is my home, where I was born. It's the place where we live and learn. We can't do without it. We draw affection from it. It's like a mother to us. I hate to say this, but everybody just seems suspicious to me. And it's, it's hard to live in, in a world where you can't, you, have, you always have to look over your shoulder to make sure that, that you're okay. It's been different than usual. It's been more scary, um, and it's changed my daily routine. I guess um, just the things that I was used to do, take the bus to work, take the bus back, go out with my friends, that doesn't ha happen as often, and not at all, really. And I, I don't think I'm the only one that feels that way, because I can see the streets, and I can see that people go, don't go out as much and, and people are scared. You can see them in their eyes, really. Today was the first time in a while that I took the bus. I was so aware of like everything around me and you look to see who is, I don't know, who looks suspicious or who has a, a look. And this is, I guess, this is what we live right now in the city. Everybody, Jews and Arabs. I live here, in Abu Tur district. We have here the Jewish districts, and on the other side, it's the Palestinian neighborhoods, where Arabs live. In the last three weeks, when events have unfolded, they put checkpoints around this district. I felt scared at first. My family was scared for me. I was discriminated against at work. And it's the first time I've ever felt that. I feel they don't care about my life or my safety. But you're in fact just an ordinary person, going about your business. You're a normal person. It makes you sad, but mostly just angry. The way they keep a distance from you makes you feel like you're disgusting. These are two neighborhoods, uh, Tzul Bakr and Jabal Mukabar, which are Arab neighborhoods. And um, they're, as you can see, they're bordering exactly with a Jewish neighborhood, which is Oman Anatsiv, where I work. Um, and even despite the, the soldiers, that's just for security reasons. It's not really a checkpoint. People can come in and go. Um, I can go in and they can come out as much as they want. Uh, but over the past few weeks, we've had terrorists come in a lot from these two neighborhoods into the Jewish neighborhood and in other areas of Jerusalem um, while I don't feel safe. Even though I work here and everything is very close, I don't feel safe walking into these neighborhoods at any time of the day. In the past, it's been just way more easy to, to move around. I think that the government has realized that it's impossible to allow people to move in and out as much as they want if they're if there can be a danger, a danger in any way to people who are living in all of Jerusalem, Jews and Arabs, by the way. And so I know that they've built or intend to build a, uh, a, a fence, a bigger fence between the neighborhoods and restrict people from coming in and out. And I think that's a really good idea for me. The main clashes in Jerusalem happen uh, in Isaria. You can see uh, the checkpoint that the uh, Israel, Israeli army uh, put uh, on the entrance. So uh, you can see people are walking uh, out on foot. They can't just uh, go by car. Uh, they uh, go out uh, from Isaria to uh, uh, go through the bus uh, to uh, their work or uh, universities or to do whatever they want to do. Uh, they are checked by their identities and their uh, bags and everything they're holding in their hands. 
uh, and they are just waiting for a long time because it's crowded. You, you, you can see many people are uh, going out at the same time. They have to move. But Israel, uh, Israel is uh, controlling, the occupation is controlling their movements and their lives. There needs to be a firmer hand on terror, absolutely. I don't see any justification to murder, to stabbing people, to uh, throwing rocks, or any type of other terror attacks. And I, I don't want to get to the point where I have to do this. I want my government to protect me. Um, I, wish, I wish there was, I, I'm not, I, I don't understand much about security. Um, but I think that if there are more actions to be done, my government needs to take them and my government needs to keep me safe and keep everyone else safe. Three weeks ago, I felt I could live in an occupied land. But after I've seen the way they deal with Arabs, I don't feel I can live in an occupation anymore. Previously, I used to believe in safety and peace. But now, I feel as long as there is an occupation, we will never have a normal life. Every cycle of violence gets more people desperate and uh, giving up the, the hope for peace. That's why I think that, that violence is not, is not going to bring any revolution. Like, violence is not a revolutionary act. Coexistence, this is the real revolutionary act because this is what, here in Israel and in general in the Middle East, this is what the Middle East needs, coexistence.